It's Cindy from the Osterville Library, and today I am here with Ayana Parrott, who is an exercise specialist and a whole lot more. And she's going to talk to us today about how she is um, helping people through this time through exercise. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, yeah thanks for asking me. Um, so the exercise, particularly now, is super important, I think, more than people realize um, for a variety of reasons. One, um, it really, really helps ment like your mind, your body, and your spirit. Um, it's the one thing connect that can actually connect all those three together, um, including meditation. So that's another, that's another thing around mindfulness. But those two things can actually really do the same thing. So particularly if you're feeling like you're in isolation and you're stressed out and you're, you're in this time and it's really, you're feeling down, um, lots, of, lots of people are describing it as like feeling claustrophobic, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, because you are stuck. Um, so in some ways, though, you're only as stuck as uh, you kind of allow your mind and your, your body to be. So in that regard, um, exercise is super important because it just raises endorphins. It gets your you know, mind going in a positive direction as opposed to a negative direction. It helps your heart, your breath, everything moving um, so that you can think a little bit better during a difficult time. So um, I know it's hard for people to like exercise during this time because that's the last thing they want to do. They're like, oh my God, do you want me to go like run a marathon? No. <laughs> What I am asking people to do is to take five to 10 minutes a day, if not more, um, and just move your body in any way that feels good to you. So some people are having dance parties with their families in the kitchen and taking pictures of that. And, you know, at least if you're, you're doing something that's kind of bringing you joy. That's so great. I think just now is, is so important. Yes, it definitely is. And sometimes it's hard in this weather. But you also do something else that's really important is um, you're helping people in recovery. And, and it's difficult on a good day when you're in recovery. So it's, it's probably well overwhelming said. right now. Um, so <laughs> tell me how you're, you know, you've been reaching out and helping people through this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was well said. I think it is, it's hard being in recovery anyway, right? But then you, you throw it a pandemic in and then it's difficult. Um, you know, some people say the opposite of addiction is connection. So if you think about it in that way, um, the, the connection isn't there for a lot of people. Um, and so I've been really trying to just maintain that for people, whether it's through phone calls, check-ins, lots of people, Facebook Messenger has been working great for whatever reason. Um, you know, some people are just late, up at, late at night and just scared and live alone. And, um, you know, instead of drinking, they can message me or talk or reach out. Um, you know, I've been just writing a lot of blogs and information for people to be able to access about, you know, what to do, particularly around not just um, not drinking, but how to manage your emotions. Because we all know that really the, you know, the alcoholism and all that kind of stuff is kind of the, it's just the substance that we use to numb whatever it is that we're trying to, to numb. So it's like, how do you help people then, you know, instead of focusing so much on not drinking, how do you help yourself manage your emotions in a difficult time? So I think that's really that's really key. I've been just maintaining that and trying to help people just access more online, you know, meetings for people that love, you know, recovery meetings. They're still out there. People can do them. It's totally different. I get it when you're looking at a screen like this, like I'd rather be hanging out with you, but, <laughs> um, you know, it's still, it's still there. So um, my message for people with that is like, you can still access what's out there and just, you just have to adjust to that. It's different right now, but it shouldn't, you know, it doesn't have to affect people's recovery. We appreciate that. That's great that you're doing that because I know how important it is. But I, I want to talk to uh, finish up about like your business. Um, you know, you do have an amazing business that you've started. And, you know, this has obviously changed things. And I've taken part in some of your online exercise classes. Yeah. Tell people like how you've adapting and what your website and your, what you're doing. Yeah, so um, it's a strange time for me because I opened Be Free in June. So I'm not even a year. So for your first year of business, this is like... <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you have to get creative in, in your first year of business anyway, just to figure out like what's sticking, what's not, that kind of thing. So um, I think it's really just about all about pivoting, how you look at things. Um, and again, it's really just all about connection because I built the business based on where a community and, and people really come for the community aspect. Sure, they exercise, but if you, you know, if you really ask them what they're coming for, it's to see the other people. Um, and so just to maintain, to maintain that. So we still maintain the classes that you can do live so that you feel like you're in the moment with people. Um, 
you know, so all the classes are up online. It's not a ton, but, you know, we do offer, I try to do a variety because sometimes Zoom is hard for people. Right. Um, they don't necessarily want to be seen, <laughs> but Facebook Live, it's like they could do whatever and, you know, I don't see them, but they could see me, um, you know, and, and still do that. And so I still do exercise classes, but I also offer um, places where people can just come to talk so that you can still feel like you're in a group. Right. So there's, and um, yeah, so we still have, I have a recovery yoga class on there and um, a Sunday class. So they're all movement, Zumba, we're adding more as we get used to all the technology and all that kind of stuff. So at least I'm offering one thing a week, one right. thing a day for everybody. So how does uh, they find you? So the easiest way is just to go to befreewell.com. So it's single letter B and then F-R-E-E.com. And so all the, everything's been updated, um, but the Facebook page is Be Free Coaching and Wellness has all the, I post every Monday, you know, what's coming up for the week. And that's probably the, I'm pretty active on that. Well, yeah. really appreciate Thank taking the time today to talk with everybody about this and uh, what you're doing is great. And I wish Thank you, you a great continued success. Thank you so much for asking.